Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I don't know how to start this vlog. I don't know, okay. I don't know how to start this vlog other than like, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, probably, I'm going to Puerto Rico. Woo! Yeah, so we're heading to Puerto Rico this weekend. It's Thursday today and we're just packing a little bit and it is a mess out here. It's a little bit stressful. But, you know, packing always is a little bit stressful, but I made a list on Notion, so hopefully the packing list would help. So whenever I put everything in a suitcase, I just check it off, and then whenever I'm packing to come back, I also do the same just so I don't forget anything. We're not fully done, but we did start. I'm really excited because this is the first time I'm really going to be doing like a vlog traveling. I'm going to show you guys how messy it is in our living room right now. As you can tell, when I said messy, I was not exaggerating. To be fair, most of this is folded. The socks are not put together <laughs> and those clothes over there, that pile is for clothes that I'm supposed to hang up. You know, there's a reason why there's a pile of clothes there. But then here you have our suitcases and yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mess out here. It's, I don't think it's that bad for my personality. <laughs> I get stressed really easily, especially when packing. I'm just telling myself to be excited for Puerto Rico. Good morning. I'm so tired. She said to pick her up, but that's a bad call Tie me I don't want to regret it when it goes wrong Yeah, well she's in my car, but she's out of my league Only in my arms, temporarily She looks pretty when she grits her teeth Cause her boyfriend sucks Hi hi, I wanted to do a voiceover because I didn't want you guys to be watching a bunch of little clips. We landed at about 9 in the morning and went straight to our Airbnb. We were starving so we went to this place called the Egg Joint. I'll try to add all the links in the description. After that we took a short Uber ride to Old San Juan from San Juan. We visited one of the two forts in Old San Juan. This one is called Castello San Cristobal. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. This one is the bigger one out of the two and it was absolutely gorgeous. Well, San Juan is actually right by the water, so the views were amazing. What is that, like, scary thing do? It's a mic. It's for the wind. Here you can see that we haven't even gone into the fort yet. This was one of the towers outside of the gate, and it was so pretty to look out of. The tickets only cost $10. It was off and on drizzling, so it wasn't that bad. You can buy tickets at the entrance, and they're $10 per person. Make sure you keep the receipt with you, because that actually gives you entrance to both of the forts in Old San Juan. Don't quote me on this, but I think the receipt slash ticket is valid for 48 hours. This was only the first of many great views of the day. In most areas and rooms, there are these information boards that gave really good information about the history of the fort and what each of the rooms were used for. Well, she's in my car, but she's out of my league, only in my arms temporarily. The tunnels were some of my favorite parts. They were incredible to walk through, and just thinking about all the history was pretty insane by itself. What's in here? Oh! Someone really had to ruin it by 
throwing a Gatorade bottle. Uh, it's actually been there since I tried my best to capture the mountains in the back, but I really just could not do it justice. It was gorgeous. The next clip you're about to see is one of my favorite shots I got during the entire trip. I tried really hard to get a shot of the fort that we're visiting tomorrow, but it was a little too far. If you get sunburned pretty easily, make sure you put on some sunblock because most of the time you are out in the open. After a couple of hours, we decided to walk around Old San Juan to see the infamous colorful buildings. The city is absolutely gorgeous and really takes you back in time while also staying very modern. For the rest of the day, we just explored more of Old San Juan and took in all the views and culture it provided. After a long day in the sun, we headed back home and relaxed before dinner. We went somewhere within walking distance and ended up at a pizza restaurant. It had some of the most unique and delicious pizzas I've ever had. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm in the bathroom right now doing this update, so it's super echoey. It is about... 9 30 almost 10 probably and i woke up pretty early i woke up at like 7 30. i read a little bit and that reading vlog will be out on wednesday and now i'm just chilling waiting for them to wake up and decide what we're doing i think we're gonna go to the other fort we went to the bigger fort yesterday and the ticket gives us a mission to both of the forts so we're going to the other one today and after that i think we're gonna go to the beach so yeah, and I'm gonna get out of this bathroom because it's getting really stuffy and I'm starting to get hot. day we got dropped off at the big fort and walked the rest of the way towards the smaller one. The video makes it look a lot cloudier than it actually was that day. The walk was really nice, it wasn't too hot, and I think this is one of the coolest views of old San Juan. This is a wide open field right in front of the fort where people are just picnicking and flying kites as you can see, and I just thought it was so cute. <laughs>
the stairs was fine, but after a long day in the sun, going back up the stairs was painful. There were a bunch of these lookout areas around the fort. They were really, really cool to look out of, but if you are claustrophobic, definitely would not recommend. After the fort, we went to a bar and restaurant where we tried our first mofongo, and it was so good. I didn't film an outro for the vlog, so I just want to go over some things. Those were the first two days. It was a lot of fun. It was really hot, but because Puerto Rico is an island, it's pretty windy most of the time, so the weather feels good when the wind is blowing, but when it isn't, it kind of is like Florida. Uh, you know, it's humid, it's hot. We went to the fort the first day and then we went to the smaller fort the second day. After we ate, I will have the link to the restaurant in the description, but that food was so good. The service was so nice. Everyone is super kind. The pina colada there was delicious. The best pina colada we had all trip and we had a lot. So if you are in Puerto Rico, if you're in Old San Juan, definitely go check it out. And after that, we kind of just went back to the Airbnb. We relaxed a little bit. It, by that point, it was already probably like five. And then we went out to dinner. We went to a more local Puerto Rican spot and the food again was delicious. I don't know how to describe a mofongo perfectly so I'm just gonna put up a little screenshot right here for what Google says mofongos are and yeah that was basically what we did for the first two so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog there will be another one for the rest of the trip maybe a third one depending on how long the second video is but I hope you guys enjoyed but yeah thank you again for watching the video I will catch you guys in the next one bye